behalf of Professor Michael Burke and the Westmead Endoscopy Team, I would like to thank you for the opportunity to present our work here. Our study is titled Endoscopic Resection of Large Duodenal and Papillary Adenomas is Clinically and Economically Advantageous Compared to Surgical Resection. As you know, uh, duodenal and papillary adenomas, especially the large lateral spreading lesions, are very rare and it's therefore very hard to perform prospective comparative studies with surgical resections and there is actually very little data about that. At Westmead Hospital we have a large cohort of large lateral spreading lesions of the duodenum and papilla and we were able to identify over 100 lesions which were greater than 25 millimeters in size. Now these lesions are often referred to surgery just based on their size and the predicted complexity of endoscopic resection. And since we have uh, data and long-term outcome of these endoscopic resections, we thought we could compare them to a hypothetical surgical scenario. Our upper GI surgeons took a look at these lesions and uh, assigned the appropriate surgery, whether local excision or a Whipple's procedure, uh, mainly based on the lesion size and location and the papillary involvement. So based on the surgical allocation we could now uh, apply two clinical risk stratification tools which are often used by surgeons in order to predict morbidity, mortality and length of hospital stay uh, in surgical patients. These are the NSKIP score and the PPOSM score. Each patient in our cohort had actual endoscopic outcomes and costs and hypothetical surgical outcomes and costs. The endoscopic outcomes were the initial endoscopic resection and then all the follow-up endoscopies that were to come after that, including treatment of recurrence if there was one. Uh, the hypothetical surgical outcome was based on the clinical prediction tools and these were in terms of morbidity, mortality and length of hospital stay. The economical analysis including all the actual endoscopic costs including then the index resection and all the follow-up endoscopies. And the surgical costs were based on the predicted complexity and morbidity associated with the surgery for the specific patient. So these again were uh, costs which were uh, relevant for the exact same patient. Our results show that uh, compared to the hypothetical surgery that the patients would have undergone, the endoscopic treatment was safer and less costly. Obviously relying on hypothetical surgical data is suboptimal. However, these clinical prediction tools, both the NSKIP and the PPOSM, have been extensively validated and they are considered accurate. Furthermore, um, it is unlikely that a real prospective uh, randomized comparison can be conducted since these lesions are so rare. And this is why we feel that the data presented here is valuable and can uh, contribute to the limited uh, literature on the subject. Thank you again for your attention and we hope you will enjoy the article.